Hey guys, so this is my what's in my refrigerator video and it's not much <laughs> because we um, use organic foods a lot and they're time sensitive so you can't really um, you can't really buy a lot of it at one time or else it will um, you know it will expire and that's of course our dog bowl she kicks out her food let's close up this all right guys so let's go look in this empty refrigerator well this here is my favorite favorite popcorn it actually tastes like movie popcorn um but it's boom chicka pop and it's made with sea salt and it's no gmo and if you're not sure on gmo i will do a video telling you all about that and the only ingredients here it's 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 the ingredients are so small so little i can't even find them but anyways here's all the you know the things that it's not and that it is and it's here's the ingredients here popcorn sunflower oil and sea salt like how simple can you get these are my type of snacks now my hubby these are his snacks <laughs> Anyways, the refrigerator is pretty much <laughs> right. Anyways, these are like my favorite yogurts. And they're the Choi Bani Greek yogurts. They're not organic, but they're like, you know, they eat different in Europe. Okay, they don't have all the bad stuff in their food that we do. But I told you about this already before. And then like we use this like organic once it goes in the refrigerator, though, I never use it again. My husband, he puts it in there, but I never use it. And then there's my organic orange juice. And then I have, like, organic um, ranch that I still won't eat because it's not organic enough for me. But whatever. There's a messy stain down there. Needs to be cleaned. So it's just a bunch of cheese. I drink only water. There's a bunch of mayonnaise that's bad for you. And I drink smart waters, regular water. He drinks a lot of pop. I don't drink anything but water and orange juice, period. So let's look in the freezer. So there's not much in here. So these are my favorite burgers. They're um, um, Sonoma veggie burgers, but they're made by Amy's. Love it. My favorite, favorite burgers. And they're soy free and dairy free and gluten free. I love those and they're non-genetically modified, which is very important. And then we eat like organic vegetables. As you can see, Myers, 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 love Myers. Grew up a Myers baby. And these are for my daughter when she gets out of school. And they're like these Dino things, but they're supposed to be 100% all natural. So they're my family really aren't organic eaters like I am, but... These are pretty good. That's a big box of those. And then we just have their bread. They use that bread. I use organic bread. And then we have some chicken wings. I feed, usually feed these to my dog. Um, she eats real chicken and stuff. And this is their stuff. I don't eat that. But I'll show you what I eat. I eat these. Like smart chicken. They're like. I'll show you how much they are. That's how much it costs for just two of them. So they're pretty expensive. And that's not even organic, but it's just, that one is just like, um, you know, like no, you know, biochemicals or anything like that. So it's natural, but they do have organic ones. And this is the organic. And I tend to waste these a lot. So I, um, I really have to eat them or take them out when I want to. But these are, uh, certified organic smart chicken. As you can see, raised without antibiotics, free range, no um, added water, and there you go. And it's not that much difference from the natural. These were just on sale for some reason because usually it's about $8 for the organic ones. And um, let's look in the cabinets. Probably not much in here. <laughs> so, like, um, I eat albacore tuna now too, but I do eat regular tuna sometimes. So that's the albacore up there where I can't reach, so I'm too short. 
And then we just had peanut butter for my daughter when she gets out of school. And I love red onions. I burn my stomach up all the time. My cooking spray is organic. It's extra virgin olive oil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, they, yeah, he's just showing the chunk white tuna. You guys know about tuna. That's not organic. But what is organic is my seasonings. So I use like organic onion powder, um, organic ground coriander, and we even have some natural like pancake mix or whatever. And I think that's about it. We, oh yeah, like this stuff right here, this food is not to eat right now. This food is just for rainy days, like if anything ever happens. So we have that. That's not to eat. Like I don't, I eat organic stuff, but sometimes they may eat these. I don't know. But like, this is my favorite. Um, it's the organic applesauce. And we just have some good old vegetables. Now I have, I usually have my organic vegetables up here, but I don't see any today because I've probably eaten them all. But I don't buy many. Yes, you so, yeah, they're all gone. And that's pretty much it as far as that, guys. As far as what's in our refrigerator today, um, we do use organic flour if we have to. But I generally, we generally don't use flour usually too much. But that is gone because we, my husband, he makes homemade dough for pizza. So. And like we have stuff up here too, but nothing much. I don't drink coffee or anything. We have organic spaghetti right there. Yeah, like organic spaghetti. Natural elbow noodles. We got some barilla up there too. Pasta size up there. That's just for a rainy day. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna get my snack. Um, and I'm gonna go. Talk to you later. Bye.